we have some good news. We're going to talk a little bit about the city and the pandemic. So we've got a little bit of good news. We are in good shape despite a global pandemic. Do you want to just talk a little bit about that? Sure. Yeah. I mean, obviously with the pandemic going on, there's, there's a lot of, we're in the middle of it. We know it's going to be around for ever. You know, probably. <laughs> no, not forever. I'm optimistic. You're more optimistic. But we've been into it for eight months, right? And, and probably realistically looking at another six months mm -hmm. before, you know, hopefully the good news about vaccine and stuff starts to, starts to come through. Through. Yes. So, um, you know, fr from the city of Kawartha Lakes perspective, it's, you know, we've we've kind of done what we felt we had to do. A mm -hmm. lot of these are provincial directives driven by the health unit, uh, the mask mandate, for instance. So, you know, overall, our businesses and our residents have done a really good job at, at, at following the protocols. And, right. and you've seen that in the... Um, you know, the limited number of cases that we have, especially right now, uh, it seems to be all around us, you know, different areas going into their, their different color code. Um, one of the things we did early in the pandemic as a, as a city was we sort of cut back on some of our services to mm -hmm. try to, we recognize that our revenues were going to be down considerably. Right. Um, so we projected we would have a loss of revenues between five and $6 million in 2020. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much played out, you know, from people not booking facilities, not, you know, doing some of the things they usually right. utilize city services. Um, so we didn't just sort of go about business as usual. We we made a conscious decision to cut back on some of our services and try to reduce our spending to try and match up with, you know, that reduction in revenue. So we didn't end the year in a hole. Right. And then we're sort of behind the eight ball going into next year. So there were so many unknowns out there. It was it was really hard. I mean, things started to look up in the summer and then took another, you know, dive in the fall. Um, there's some more things we're doing now we weren't doing in the spring. We had a complete shutdown. Overall, we're down about five and a half million dollars in revenues. And, and overall, we've been able to reduce our spending by about the same. So we're in really good shape going into the end of the year from a financial perspective as a city. So we're not going to end up, you know, millions of dollars behind the eight ball. Uh, to put pressure on next year's budget. So sort of a good news story there. You know, well, that's it, just it. I think people need to understand that that's good, right? <laughs> it is good. But, you know, it resulted in a reduction of some mm -hmm. services, right? And, and, you know, we cut back on some of our service centers. We didn't open them right away. Right. Our halls, our arenas. We didn't open all our ice surfaces just from a cost perspective. So, you know, the landfill sites were closed for a while mm -hmm. and now we're doing it on a, you know, a little bit of a different way that we operate and there's some lineups for people. So, you know, it's been an inconvenience for people. I don't yes. want to say it's a whole lot more than that. It's not that level of service that they're usually mm -hmm. used to. But I think when you put it against, you know, the loss in revenues and where we're coming out at the end of the year, hopefully people will realize that, you know what, we made some good decisions. And that's, there's not a lot of municipalities that are going to be able to say they broke even this year. So we're going to, that's going to give us some options going into 2021 that a lot of other municipalities aren't going to have. That must be some kind of it must be a tough conversation to have when you're trying to plan for all these people in your city. I don't even know how you would make those decisions. Like as a person who is just a resident, for me, yeah. that's good news to hear that kind of stuff. Even yeah. though I know there was some positions not filled and, and uh, service was cut back, but I think, you know, not having a big chunk of money that you got to owe is a good thing. Well, municipalities have to balance their books. Mm -hmm. So if we, you know, if we were in the hole, we have to come up with funding, whether right. it's through a tax levy increase or we have to go into debt. Uh, you know, we have to balance those books at the end of the year. Municipalities can't end their year in a deficit. So a big result of that was, um, you know, not hiring summer students. Mm -hmm. uh, we had almost 80 summer students that uh, we bring on board, 80 some summer students that cut grass, help us fill potholes on the roads in the summer, you know, do a lot of ditch maintenance and stuff like that. We didn't hire any summer students this year. So, mm -hmm. you know, people saw in some of the parks, the grass probably wasn't cut as much as it usually is. Right. Flower beds weren't, you know, as nicely maintained as they have been in the past. But I think for the most part, when you balance that against, you know, the cost and mm -hmm. the money that was saved as a municipality, we did what we thought we needed to do to find that happy balance at the end of the year. And uh, we still don't know what the first six months of next year or the whole next year is going to bring us. So. Right. Uh, with that unknown, it's nice to, to have a few options going into 2021 from a budget perspective, um, as I mentioned before, that a lot of municipalities don't have. You mm -hmm. know, if, if it was over now, we'd be, you know, we could sort of say we know where the light is at the end of the tunnel. 
but because we know it's not over, you know, we are seeing a light at the end of the tunnel, but it's still a ways down the tunnel. Right. I don't know if it's a train or if it's a sunlight coming <laughs> through the tunnel. So I don't know we'll, uh, we'll figure it out a little farther when we get there. But overall, I think it's a good news story. Yeah. Yeah.